So in this video looking at ratios we'll be focusing on how to compare two ratios to form a new ratio. Now a very common question that is appearing more and more on exam papers are questions where you're comparing ratios. So for example a question that you might find that appears more on the high GCSE is questions like if A to B is 2 to 3 and B to C is 5 to 3 then find A to C. Now the key noticeable difference is that both the letters in the required ratio are in two separate different ratios and it's not as straightforward as simply merging the two ratios together it doesn't quite work in that way so for example a common mistake that most people say or do I should say so here you've got A to B and you've got B to C and that's 5 to 3 so they think oh right what I'll do is I'll just simply add these two numbers so that's going to be 2 to 8 to 3 which then gives you, well, they're the two ratios that I want, so then the ratio is just simply 2 to 3. And that is probably the biggest mistake that a lot of people make when doing these questions. Now, in terms of the method, now the method might seem a bit of a waffle, and it might, might not make much sense to you at face value, but when we go through some examples, hopefully you'll be able to translate, translate the what I'm trying to say into practice. Now, the general method is, in a given ratio, there will be one common letter. Now, obviously, in the above case, the common letter is B. Now your aim should be to find a common multiple between these values of the letter that appear in both. Then multiply the respective other letters by the multiple and then write these numbers as a ratio before attempting to simplify if possible. Now again an extremely long couple of sentences there but like I said this that is the general method and like I said if it doesn't quite make much sense then when we go through some examples if the examples make sense and I definitely encourage you to write your own steps of method, which you can also drop in the comments and help me for next time. So let's have a look at an example question. So let's take the above example and let's, let me talk you through how we actually go about working this out. So starting off with, we've got the ratio of A to B, which is 2 to 3, and we've got the ratio of B to C, which is 5 to 3, and we're wanting the ratio of A to C. Now a really good starting point when answering this question is to start by writing down all three ratios. So here we've got, if I take the first one which is 2 to 3, I probably should be using different colours because I think using the pink for that will be a little bit uh, confusing. So let's go for a colour that we're not using, let's go for yellow. So here I've got A to B to C. Now using our first sort of information that we've got so we know that the ratio of a to b is 2 to 3 and using the second bit of information we know that b to c is 5 to 3 now what we're trying to do is or what we need to try and do is try and get these numbers in the middle the same so what i'm trying to do is think of a common multiple between 3 and 5 and so hopefully you've got the common multiple there is going to be 15 so what I want to try and do is, let me just write down, we want to try and make these numbers the same. Do this by finding a common multiple. Right, so for argument's sake, so let me just get a different color pen. So here we've got A to B to C. Now our common multiple here is 15. So I'm going to write 15 for B and I'm going to write that twice. Now looking at this, if B is 15 in which I've multiplied this number by 5, then what I need to do to this number is also multiply it by 5. So that there is going to be 10. And then with this number here, to make that into 15, I need to multiply that by 3. So I need to multiply this number by 3. So if B is 15, then C is going to be 9. Now, now that the B values are the same, what I can now do is use these two values. So the ratio of A to C is going to be 10 to 9. And then I've just got to ask myself, can I simplify this? going on with that you can uh, why sorry can you simplify 
And the answer is no. So that there is my final answer. So the final answer would be that the ratio of A to C is 10 to 9. Let's have a look at another similar question. Uh, so again, if you want to have a go at this yourself, then by all means, please pause the video. And we go from there, but I'm going to talk through it now. So again, looking at the first ratio, we've got D to E. So let's just write down the... So I've got D to E to F. Now, D to E is the ratio of 4 to 3. And the ratio of E to F is 2 to 9. And what I need is I need the ratio of D to F. So what I want to do is I want to try and make these numbers the same. And how do I do that? Find a common multiple, which in this case is going to be 6. So if I start off by D to E to F. So a common multiple is 6. I need to multiply this by 2. So I'll need to multiply that by 2. I need to multiply this by 3, which means then I'll have to multiply this by 3. So looking at this then, so this is going to be 6 and 6. So then 4 times 2 is 8, and 9 times 3 is 27. So from this, I can then drag those two values down. So then the ratio of D to F is going to be 8 to 27. Can I simplify that? No. So that there is my final answer. So let's move on to a worded question. So here it says the ratio of ages between Catherine and Charlotte are 5 to 6, and between Emma and Catherine is 3 to 8. Write down the ratio of ages between Emma and Charlotte, simplifying your answer if possible. So what we're going to do here is make sure that we read the question. With worded questions, it's really important you take out the key bits of information. So let's have a look at the first one. So we know that Catherine to Charlotte is 5 to 6. So I'm going to simplify that by writing K to C is 5 to 6. And then looking at the second ratio, it says Emma Catherine is 3 to 8. So E K is 3 to 8. So here you can see that my common letter is going to be, or my common person here is going to be Catherine. So from this, what I then need to do is write out my equation. So again, I'm wanting Emma and Charlotte. So if you write E, we stick the common letter in the middle, which is Catherine. So I'm going to put E in the middle, and then I've got uh, C. So substitute the numbers in. Okay, so I've got when K is 5, C is 6, this ratio, and then looking at this ratio, when K is 8, E is 3. So what I need to do is I need to find a common multiple between 5 and 8, uh, so 5 and 8, which is going to be 40. So I'm going to multiply this by 5, so I need to multiply that by 5, and I need to multiply that by 8. So we need to multiply that by 8. So then going from this then, so what we've got, and let's just write this again. So I've got E to K to C. So 5 times, so the common multiple is 40. So I'm going to write 40 in both. And so 8 times, eight, uh, 8 times 6 rather is going to be 48. And 3 times 5 is 50. So then the ratio then of E to C is what I'm wanting. E to C is going to be 15 to 48. And the only thing I've now got to do is just check to see, can I simplify that? And the answer is yes, I can, because I can divide both numbers by 3, uh, which gives me 5, 16. There is my final. You're right. Simplify. Is my final answer. So to test your understanding why not pause the video and have a go at the following two questions and what I'll do is then I'll go through the answers of what you should have. So going through the answers to these two particular questions. So again first of all let's start by writing down our ratio of x to y to z or z. And then we're going to write down the numbers. So here we've got 2 to 7, and we've also got 3 to 5. 
So finding a common multiple between these two, two middle numbers of y, it's going to be 21. So if I multiply that by 3 and that by 7, then what I'm going to end up with is x to y to z. So if y is 21, then x will be, well, if I times that by, if I times this by 3, it's going to give me 6. And then if I multiply the 5 by 7, then that's going to give me 35. So giving me my final answer of dragging these two numbers down of 6 to 35. And then I've just got to check, can I simplify um, the ratio? No, I can't. So that there is my final ratio, and that's x to z or z. So then moving on to question, the second question. So again, here I start off by writing a to b to c. And I write down the ratios I've been given, just making sure that I'm writing it in the correct order. Sometimes, as you can see with the worded question, it can be written in a different order. It's not there to catch you out. It's more there to test your understanding. And then our final ratio, which is 5 to 4. So trying to find a common multiple between these two numbers, well, that's going to be 10. So what I'm going to do is I multiply that by 5. And I'm going to multiply this number by 2. So then writing down my new ratio of a to b to c. Well, if my b's are going to be 10, then if I'm multiplying that, the 2 by 5, I need to multiply the 3 by 5, so that's going to give me 15. And then multiplying the 5 by 2 to get 10, I need to multiply this number by 2, which gives me 8, leaving me with a final answer of a to c being 15 to 8. And then just go check, can I simplify that? No, I can't, so that there is my final answer. So before we go, let's have a look at an extension question. So this question involves decimals and money. Now, like we mentioned in a previous video, that when you're writing ratios, it is possible to have money and decimals in there. But what you want to try and do is write them using whole numbers. And what that might mean is multiplying them so that both numbers or all numbers in the ratio are going to be whole. Now, the method for this is going to be exactly the same. So here we've got A to B and we've got £2.50 and we've got £1.50. 20. Now what we want to try and do first is convert these so that we are just dealing with whole numbers. So if I go about multiplying both these numbers by 10, then what I end up with is 25 and 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat the, the ratio of A to B rather than using 2.5 and 1.2 or £2.50 and £1.20, I'm going to instead use 25 and 12. Now if I do the same for B to C, then here I've got 3 and £4.50, which again, if I multiply both the numbers by 10, I end up with 30 and 45. And that is the ratio that I'm then going to use. So what I'm now going to do is rather than using the decimal numbers, instead, I'm going to be using these ratios instead. Now, if you can simplify, brilliant, I would go for the simplified option. So, for example, 25 and 12 doesn't simplify, but I can simplify 30 and 45. So, that would simplify to give me, uh, divide, but dividing both numbers by 5, that would be 6 to 9. And I can simplify further as 2 to 3. So, I could divide both numbers by 15, that would have got me a lot sooner. So, then... Working with these ratios now, use a different colour pen because that's so using 2 and 3 and 25 and uh, 12. I've got A to B to C. So A to B is 25 to 12 and B to C is 2 to 3. Now, if I wanted to use 30 to 45, that would be absolutely fine. It just means that my common multiple is going to be a relatively big number. So trying to find a common multiple between 12 and 2. Well, 12 is a common multiple, so all I need to do to the pink ratio is just multiply those two numbers by 6. So what I've got is I've got 25 to 12, which is A to B to C. And then I've got 12, and then multiply 3 by 6 to get 18. So even though the 12s are the same, my ratio is going to be A to C is going to equal 25 
to 18. Can I simplify that? No, I can't. So that there is my final answer.